Let me introduce you to another old friend of mine. Uh, we go back a long, long time. And uh, it's the fabulous Yaeso FT um, 757GX. And in this case, it's the Mark 1. There's also a Mark 2 available. Um, this is my personal radio and I own this now for over 30 years. And uh, it comes highly recommended for me, if that means anything to you. It's uh, all HF bands, um, 160 meters all the way up to uh, 10 meters, of course. And does um, all mode, SSB, CW, FM, AM. And uh, it pushes out 100 watts, more than enough power for everybody. Um, it's quite heavy for such a small package, to be honest. The uh, PA sits on the die cast uh, top panel, well, underneath. And the top panel acts as a heat, heat sink that explains the weight. It's got a handy little um, carrying strap attached to the side. Speaker is on the, on the top and it doesn't sound awful at all, to be honest. Um, it also has a cut control, so you can hook it up to your computer and control it from there, hook it up to a logging pro um, software, ham radio, ham radio deluxe probably. And um, it's a fine transceiver. If you get one of these at a reasonable price, um, here they go about for 150 to 200. Don't pay more than this. The uh, Mark II is slightly more expensive. And you can get a matching antenna tuner as well, which I have some in the back, but I never used them. I'm not a great fan of antenna tuners, to uh, tell you the truth. Um, believe it or not, I dropped this several times in the field on, onto grass, and so far um, I haven't sustained any, any damage. Well, the rig that is. Um, it's a great entry level radio. Having said that, it's uh, all the HF radio you will ever need. It's got bells and whistles. Okay, it hasn't got a spectrum analyzer and a waterfall display, but <laughs> these are just gimmicks, really. But you can sling it into the back of the car. Hook up, that was my phone, I'm sorry. Uh, hook up to, hook it up to the car battery and uh, go for ages in the field. Just uh, make sure the VFO uh, runs freely. They tend to seize up if the rig doesn't get used much. This one here is fine. Um, as for the VFO, it's identical to the VFO of the uh, 736 and the Yaeso re receiver, um, the FRG 8800. They use the same VFO encoder. So. Uh, you're safe when it comes to part. I think we have got several units in stock anyway. So um, I put it onto an antenna just to see uh, what the display looks like because I know I, ch I checked earlier the uh, conditions on the air are not very nice today so uh, there won't be much many signals around but just to show you guys what the display looks like um, just keep watching and after you watch and you're not too bored with me just subscribe please. Thanks for watching. Many 
Ефроп, Мэнни Керен, 